Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to configure the IIS website to open from the outside network. First of all, we have to set the host A record on our domain. So let's jump to our domain and configure the host A record. So right now we are on our GoDaddy portal. You can see the domain is testingo.in. So we need to configure the host A record for this. We can go to the DNS. The name server we are pointing to the GoDaddy itself. And if we go to the DNS record, here you have to add a host A record and at the rate means the domain name that is testingo.in. And here we have to type the IP of our router and we will forward the port HTTP and HTTPS to the server. So I have already added my IP to the host A record here. You can see this. And if we check with the NS lookup, if we see the NS lookup, you can see the non authoritative answer is 103.134.46.91. The same IP we have added here. And this IP is installed on my router. And from there, we will do the port forwarding. So let's go to the server and try to install the DNS first. So now we are on our server and we are planning to host a website with the name of testingo.in. So let's go to the server manager and try to install the DNS server. So we will go to the add role and feature, click on next, next. We will select the server and we will check the DNS server and we'll add the feature and we'll click on next to install the DNS server. So I will click on next, next and install. As we are installing the DNS server, we will change the local DNS as well. So I will change the DNS server to the point itself. I'll put it 100 and we'll click on OK. OK. So the DNS server installation has been succeeded. Let me click on close. Let me try to open the DNS server. So you can see right now it is empty. We do not have any zone here right now. So we will create a new zone by the name of testing or dot in. We'll click on next. Allow both non secure and secure dynamic update and click on next and finish. So now you can see that zone has been created. So I will create a new host A record and will point to the local IP that is 192.168.12.100. We'll copy this and we will also create a record by the name of www and done. So we have a record www and a parent record that is testing or dot in. So we have created our zone here successfully. Let me close this now. And if we go to the C drive inside the inet pub, we have a www root here. So we have to put our website inside this. Let me try to put a website testingo dot in here. And now I will close this. And let's go to the IIS and create a new site. And the path is inside the C drive inet pub www. This is the path. It says the authentication passed. So we'll click on OK. It says that uh, binding with the port 80 is already used for the another website. Let me type the host name as testingo.in. Click on OK. Now you can see the testingo website is published. So if we try to access this website right now, we can click on browse and you can see the HTTP 403 forbidden error. This is because right now the testing dot in does not have any pages so let's try to copy this and we'll paste this inside the testing folder and we'll close it and i will refresh it you can see the page has been loaded and you can see the name testing dot in here and if you want to bind it with the www as well we have to go to the testing dot in and click on bindings right now it is working on port 80 with the name of testing dot in so in order to open the website with the www, we need to add the bindings. We need to click on add and we have to type the name www.testingo.in. Click on OK. So now we have a two bindings. Our site will open with the testingo.in and www.testingo.in as well. If you try to browse this, you can see the www.testingo.in is there. Now the website is opening from the inside and we have to open it from the outside as well. So we have pointed our 
host a record to the public IP and I have forwarded the port 80 to this IP from my router. You also need to do that. So now we can try it from the outside. So I have a machine on Azure. You can see the IP address is 65.52.57.27. I will try to connect with that machine. So we are logged into that machine and let's try to open our website from the outside that is testingo.in you can see it is https is here let's remove the s and put the www here and you can see our website is open the testingo.in website has been opened from the azure virtual machine that is from the outside of our network so this way you can host your website and open it worldwide i hope the video was informative let's meet in the next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.